think it's clear we are united in our belief that the roughly 78,000 food insecure individuals in Montgomery County are 78,000 too many. These people are counting on us, the county's public and private sector, to solve this problem. The strategic plan that we are calling for will be a document that we will be able to use in the years to come as a blueprint to help better guide our budget and overall policy de deliberations pertaining to hunger. To, to date, our efforts have been too fragmented. We can do better. As the, as the chair suggested, we made some changes to the bill, changes recommended by advocates and the executive branches, changes such as renaming the strategic plan and the title of the bill to strategic plan to achieve food security, assigning the plan development and annual updates to the county executive rather, rather than solely with the chief innovation officer so that we can have our Department of Health and Human Services help with the implementation of any recommendations from the report, requiring the executive in developing the plan to consult with individuals who have experience with food insecurity, encouraging the executive to consider regional, national, and global efforts to address food insecurity when developing the plan, and removing a specific food insecurity reduction target, which was in the original legislation, but with the caveat that we have assurances that metrics will be in the final report once it is crafted. We do need metrics. I'd be remiss in closing if I didn't also thank our nonprofit community, particularly organizations like MANA, the Capital Area Food Bank, and so many others that led the way at our public hearing and came out in force to express their strong buy-in to this endeavor and provide very thoughtful feedback about ways to improve this legislation. Mm -hmm.